going. <laughs> I don't know if I can take this. <laughs> Did you hear Casey Neistat canceled his daily vlog? Hi, I'm Gord, and I'm a video creator, educator, and YouTuber. And I've taken a few days to gather myself and decided I wanted to share with you how Casey's decision made me feel and the amazing lessons I learned to help me as a video creator and YouTuber. And if you like this video, check out my YouTube channel and don't forget to let me know how the lessons I learned resonate with you. Why, why, why? How could Casey have ended his vlog? I quickly realized that in this challenging world we live in, filled with so much negative news, Casey managed to uplift us all through his vlog. So his vlog has really been a daily dose of feel-good hormones for me. And when he started to publish less, I felt a piece of my heart suffering. Okay, enough with my sadness. To appreciate what Casey has really done, I want to share a few of his amazing stats and then I'll speak more about how he's influenced me as a YouTuber and the lessons I learned as a video creator and educator. In almost 18 months and well over 200 episodes, I think approximately about 214, 215 of the vlog, he had over 1 billion views and now has over 5.8 million subscribers. This is huge fame, and along with it, huge financial reward. And Casey's calling it quits on the daily vlog? This is a huge success by anyone's terms. He's been living the dream. And who doesn't like to see somebody living the dream? I know I do. His goal as a daily vlogger was to challenge himself to raise his bar to the next level of video quality. He says that, you know, he got so good that he had developed a system over time and managed to keep producing and publishing. It became easy for him, he says, and his creativity started to wane. The creative challenge just wasn't there for Casey near the end. Time for a change for Casey. Wow. Oh, and did I forget to mention, he spends sometimes up to 16 hours of each day dedicated to the vlog. I remember seeing Casey interviewed by Lewis Howes, where he said he spends between 4 and 11 hours to edit each day. Now that's dedication and exceptional commitment to your cause. Nothing less than Herculean in my books, especially because he's a family man, runs multiple businesses, and he's traveling all the time. Or maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> so as you can see, although financial success can bring security, you still need to keep growing on your journey which means being challenged. There's a lot more to success and happiness than money, as Casey shows to us in his desire for challenge and career growth. What's one man's challenge may be another man's nightmare. Challenge is a personal endeavor. Casey used this Tarzan metaphor uh, for career, whereby to grab the next divine or step in your career meant that you had to let go of the vine behind. So in his case, he's letting go of the vlog to grab a hold of what lies ahead for him. I'm sure that what comes next for Casey will be amazing and we'll all look forward to it. I so appreciate that Casey is going where his gut instincts are telling him to go and not just where the money is. A big struggle in my life has been going through life and sometimes doing things based on a push from others without taking care of myself first. And in Casey's case, I bet there are all kinds of opinions surrounding him on what he should be doing next to move forward in his career. Somehow I think Casey will end up just where he wants to be. His video adventures were so special because he was able to show a bit of family life, work life, adventure, and pure fun. And I should not forget how positive he is and high on life, people, and community. He has millions of fans around the world. His fans, like yours truly, eagerly always awaited the next episode. Now we're going to wait for something new and different from Casey. And that's exciting in my books. 
From a YouTuber perspective, Casey taught me many lessons. Lesson number one, work discipline. Casey's work discipline was second to none. He went after things and didn't seem to encounter many mental blocks. And where there was a challenge to overcome, he often improvised a solution and shared with us and shared it with us along the way in the vlog. For example, I remember he had a problem with his Canon camera once with the flip screen and thought there was a design issue. So he went immediately and improvised a little block to support it and make sure it worked properly. Or if he had problems in his office, he would just bring out his tools, create a solution. He just seemed to like plow right ahead. You know, it helps to be such a good handyman too. But Casey never seemed to allow anything to really get in his way of his work discipline. And he always tried to produce incredible stuff and showed us many times he went to great lengths to get the kind of shots that he wanted to bring to us uh, as a viewer. Lesson number two. Casey taught us how to create entertaining and engaging videos. Casey was an amazing editor and storyteller. He brought the art of editing to a new level for vloggers and YouTubers. I remember him saying that he would never outsource his editing because the editing is a large part of the art he creates and delivers. Lesson number three. Casey showed us that continuously creating and publishing will help raise your personal bar of quality. I just, you know, always was intrigued by how as time went on with Casey's vlog, things just got to be more incredible, whether it was fancy time lapses or drone footage. It was just spectacular. And he just kept raising his own personal bar and it was very impressive. Lesson number four, Casey showed us how important positivity is in life. Even when it appeared that he was overloaded with the sheer volume of his vlog or commitments, he always found a smile and time to be kind to his fans, whether they were kids on the street, people in airports, or just people wanting a selfie with him. Casey was a great people person and is, and we're looking forward to seeing more of his shining light to the rest of us in the world. Lesson number five, technical skills and the curiosity to try new things. Casey would all through the vlog as it progressed, do all kinds of interesting and different kinds of time lapses, whether it was in New York City showing sunrises or sunsets or uh, you know, seeing a drone fly along a beach or showing beautiful vistas in, in, in a town or an ocean area. He just, you know, kept pushing the envelope and trying new things and new technologies, new drones, new cameras. And, you know, he just, you know, would apply anything anywhere without hesitation. So I really respect his curiosity about the technology and trying new things. And he also had all kinds of little toys that people sent him in, in, in mail time, like scooters and other things. But he always explored it with technology to see what, what, what he could get out of it creatively. And um, this is not to belittle how important, and he said this many times, the ability to storytell and put together something that's going to be meaningful to the to the viewer and you know the technology doesn't replace that so but that all said Casey did an awesome job showing us to have the courage to explore using technology and the last lesson lesson number six what that Casey taught me was about the sense of adventure in life trying new things creatively like his snowboarding with the New York Police Department uh, video that he did uh, holding one selfie stick, uh, the selfie stick in one hand, a tow line in the other, and all the while doing s snowboarding in a you know crazy situation, you know is is one example of an amazing sense of adventure. Or his Pokemon Go uh, case study that he did in New York City, where he was you know running around chasing Shonduras in the costume and uh, creating a very interesting video with all the people and the pursuit or whether he's hanging from a helicopter in a suit or wearing a suit on a, you know, cruising on a wakeboard in, in the water. You know, Casey 
seems to, you know, be so adventurous and always intrigued by the unknown and the challenging. And that's part of what has brought, you know, a lot of joy to many of his fans and, and, and inspired, uh, you know, him to produce more video and make sure that he continued to raise the bar in everything that he produced. Now, if only I could get my system down just like Casey did so that I can fly down the street weaving through traffic on a boosted board, control my drone flying overhead, sip on my green smoothie, holding my camera selfie style, and at the same time carrying on a conversation with you, then I'd be on my way to a popular vlog. Oh wait, that's been done. There's only one Casey Neistat. And I look forward to enjoying more and more of what he has to share with us in the future with his adventures. Stay tuned. This was a rare and new type of video for me to do, but I feel I wanted to share with you what an influence Casey has been on my life. If you enjoyed my video, please consider subscribing to my channel where I share tips and how-to information for video creators, video marketers, and YouTubers. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, and I almost forgot. There's a link on the screen somewhere or in the description for you to get my just released ebook on better videos from home. Thank you for watching.